opportunity does not then build a door good evening and welcome to another informational segment of exciting world travel i like to introduce myself as david jones i am your travel expert today i have to tell you about a very important thing you should watch for next time you intend to travel I am going to tell you about the reality of pickpockets that might be around when you're out and about at your next destination. Pickpocket prevention, another take. Things go wrong, accidents happen, situations come up, disappointment is a part of life and unfortunately sometimes part of the travel process. Sometimes disappointment comes in the form of a missed flight. Sometimes it comes in the form of a poorly located hostel, and sometimes it comes in the form of a pickpocket. I have never been pickpocketed, but I can say that I have met a number of travelers and tourists who have. I can also say that people I have traveled with have been pickpocketed while traveling with me. And I will also admit that I have almost been pickpocketed several times. Throughout my travels, I have compiled a pocket than in your front pocket. In crowded bars or markets, people bump up against each other all the time. You probably won't think twice about it until you go pay for your next drink. Keep your things where you can see them. This means not carrying a backpack in a crowded location, keeping your money in your front pocket and keeping your bag pulled in front of you. Never put your phone in your backpack. Or if you have a jacket, I recommend the one with zippers or buttons on the pockets. Awareness is easy to identify. If you are aware of where your things are, then it will show. There is nothing more deterring for a thief than the possibility of causing a scene. A couple of months ago, my landlady was walking down the street. She was talking on her phone. Someone grabbed her phone out of her hand and started walking down the street. She ran after him screaming thief at the top of her lungs. He was so shocked by the commotion that he dropped the phone and took off running down the street. Granted, she could increase her awareness factor in the future by not talking on her phone in the street. Be careful of public transit. This is probably the most common place that I have heard of for things disappearing from pockets. This goes for any country, local or tourists. I had students in Peru who have had their cell phones stolen on the local buses as much as three times. I have known tourists who have had their wallets disappear. In many countries in major cities, public transits are crowded. This makes for an easy snag. I try to pick a place against the wall so that I have a good view of my surroundings. I am also conscious of who's around me. If I notice someone uncomfortably staring at me, I return the gaze with eye contact. Which brings us to our next point. Make eye contact and acknowledge. I have mentioned it twice now. I talked about it on the bridge and I talked about it on public transportation. It is what I believe to be the most single important thing that you can do to prevent theft. It is, in my opinion, the only thing that has kept me from being pickpocketed personally. Let's face it, I am not a big person. I am relatively small. I am not physically intimidating, and I am a foreigner. I therefore offer no immediate incentive for not messing with me. However, I have found that letting the people around you know, even in the most subtlest way that you are aware of them, can prevent fiscal catastrophe. 
Don't be a fool. There is no need to carry your passport and all your credit cards on you all the time. You are already a target just being a foreigner. You don't need to make yourself a bullseye by carrying more than necessary on your person. If you do have to transport important travel documents and credit cards, try to avoid things like public transportation while doing so. There are under the clothing travel belts that can be purchased to hold your passport and money securely if you do have to have a substantial amount of money on your person. There is one thing that I have learned about people in recent years. It is that they don't listen. I can offer you all the advice in the world, but the bottom line is that taking extra precautions is up to you. Westerners tend to deem me paranoid. I prefer the term aware. In the last six months of relocating to a lesser developed country and doing some traveling, four fellow expats who called me paranoid have been robbed or pickpocketed two of them twice. And I am not talking about cell phones. I am talking about things like hundreds of US dollars, cameras and laptops. Does that make me paranoid or them unaware? So that is what I wanted to tell you today. Before I go, I'd like to say a big thanks to a lady named Tina Stelling, who was the original writer for this amazing segment of information. Always a good human encyclopedia of information to consult with. Also like to give a thank you to JR, who is the creator of this fine video and who has made exciting world travels a big success. Now thanks for your time. Now take your time after this to visit the site Exciting World Travels. Just go to www.excitingworldtravels.com. Once again, I am your exciting host, David Jones. Thank you so much for hearing me out on this one. I hope to see more of you later on in the next few episodes. Have a great day.